Hi, this is Ivor van der Zand, SAP Analytics, and today I will talk to you about analyzing differences between actuals and budgets or actuals and forecasts using SAP Analytics Cloud. I have on the screen version 2019.3. On the screen, you see a, a simple graph that I created by using the following data model. I have gross profit and I selected total revenue. And as a dimension, I used the brands. By bringing in the version, so I have various versions of my data, actuals, budgets, and forecast, I selected two. And I can create this IBCS chart which shows me actuals as well as the budgets. And of course, I could say uh, if I'm interested in the delta, the difference between them, I could easily say, can you please create me a variance report? And I choose the version, the two versions that I want to compare. And over here, I have my variance. Now, imagine that I want to create a report with only the delta, so only this portion avoiding this portion that that is uh, in this way difficult i cannot hide or unhide uh, my core data and only show the variance one way of doing it is going through a table where i can easily select uh, both elements and insert the delta and create a graph on top of that like this for example but that still leaves me with core data. So the solution for this problem is using cross calculations. So the solution to get a chart that only shows the delta for my dimension is using cross calculations. Let's have a look how that looks. So let's start with a, a new page where we start from scratch. So I'm creating a chart to show you what we are going to do. And I'm going to bring in my brands. And as a measure, I'm going to select the gross profit total revenue. So that is my starting point. And the next step that I'm going to do to create, uh, to in the end get to a result where I have uh, the difference between actuals and budgets, I'm going to create cross calculations. So if you go to this plus on this menu and you activate the add cross calculations metric, then I can, by selecting, I can start creating a cross calculation. And what I do over here, that is very important. I'm going to select restricted measure and I'm going to call it cross calc actual. And for my measures, I select all values and I'm going to use my version dimension to restrict it to actuals only. Like I do over here. So this creates my cost calculation on a restricted measure for the actuals. That is my first cost calculation that I create. Over here, you see that cost calculation on the screen. Now I'm going to create a second one. Again, a restricted measure, and I'm going to call this one cost calc budget. Again, I choose as measure to all values. And important, I now use as version, I restrict that one to my budget number. And I define that one too. Of course, I'll need to take out my version over here, otherwise it doesn't show. Yeah. And now I create a third one that is a normal calculation where I do the, let's call it sample delta, my final number, where I say, <clears throat> let me subtract cross actuals minus cross budget. And over here you have your final result. So now you have a graph 
with only showing the delta between uh, actuals and budgets in my case, but of course I could use other versions per dimension. Of course, I can use all the regular functionality. For example, I could add an input control saying I want my user to be able to select countries. So to make it more dynamic and self-service, you will see if I choose or deselect things that my calculations are automatically adjusted. Thanks for your attention.